Hey guys, welcome to the iPad Showcase where we give you a tour of the apps and accessories for the iPad before you drop your hard earned cash. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Pages once again and responding to a user comment on the, um, on the YouTube channel. So this comment was submitted by Kerry G. That's what I'm gonna call him because I can't pronounce his last name. But Kerry says, I just bought a mini and I'm using Pages to edit stuff for clients but haven't found a way to save or rename docs. This isn't covered on any of the video tutorials I've seen either. Am I missing something? Well, Carrie, I don't think you're missing anything. Um, the way Pages works is when you create a brand new document within Pages, like I'm doing right now, it'll create a blank document. You go ahead and tap on that document and then you can type this as a text or whatever document text you want to type. Uh, when you click the documents in the upper left hand corner of the screen, it will take you back out and it'll save your document as a blank document. So blank or blank two or whatever it is. And it'll automatically save your text. So no matter what you do, it will automatically save it. So this is line two. There we go, and then hit documents again, and it automatically saves it. So there's nothing that you have to do to save it. If you want to create some type of backup for it, then you can go ahead and click on the little uh, monkey wrench in the upper right-hand corner, and you can select share and print, and then you can email the document to yourself or copy to WebDAV or, or some other option there. Okay, and that will just create a backup for your particular document. Now, if you notice down in the bottom of the document that we were just looking at, it's called blank two. Well, to change the name, just click edit, hit the edit button in the upper right corner. Everything will start to shake. Then we just tap the actual title, which is blank two, tap that, and then it brings up the renaming. So we can rename it to say, this is my title and then click done, tap on the done, and then it automatically alphabetizes your document. So now you see my documents down on the bottom and everything shifted down. So now we can select done and everything is done. We can select the document and now we can see our text is there. Now to round this off, let me go ahead and show you how to delete the document. If you're all done with that document, you know, there's no reason for you to keep it. Hit edit once more, and in the upper left-hand corner, the third icon from the left is a trash can. Go ahead and select your document, and then you'll notice that the trash can has now been highlighted in white. Uh, select the trash can, and the delete document um, button will pop up. Just go ahead and tap it. It will now delete that document for you, and you are ready to create a brand new document. All right, so hopefully Carrie G, that helps you out and it helps out anyone else out there who was having a problem with saving or renaming or deleting a document within pages. All right, guys, that's it. Here from iPad Showcase, this is Gerald signing off once again. If you enjoyed the video or if it was helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me uh, and also leave a comment below if there's anything else that um, you guys wanna know, just like Carrie did. All right, guys, that's it, and I'm out.